time for Landmark Medical's High School Hoops, sponsored by Martell Plumbing and Heating. Hi everyone, from the Bishop Henrikin campus in Warwick, Rhode Island, it's High School Hoops. Frank Carpano joined by Joe Hassett for game number one of a six game schedule of High School Hoops and tonight North Kingstown here at Bishop Henrikin to take on the defending state champion Hawks. A Division One game that we're expecting to be very competitive tonight, Joe. Defending state champions like four years in a row, they're pretty good. So this team here, you know, the keys to the games of them, they want to play up-tempo. They get a lot of their offense from their defense. They want to spread the court and get after you, play good, solid man-to-man. -man. And as for Bishop Henrikin, I mean, they reloaded this year. They graduated a lot of players, but they're once again one of the top teams in the state. Yeah, they graduated five seniors from last year's team, but Calderella is their remaining experienced guy, and he runs the show out there. He's a good three-point shooter, so North Kingston has to worry about him at all times. Well, as far as key players are concerned, let's talk first about the visiting skippers of North Kingstown. Yeah, Landon Boddington, the coach's son. Uh, he has a knee injury right now, but he's a very good shooter, runs the floor, he's a point guard, he's the best player on the team, so he's the guy that Henrikin really has to worry about. I know he's missed a couple of games, but his dad, the head coach, is hoping to work him in there and see how he does uh, in tonight's game. He will not be starting. There'll be others who are starting in his position. You mentioned Calderella for, for the Hawks as the key guy. Yeah, Calderella for the Hawks is a real key guy because they lost five seniors, and he's the most experienced guy back for this team, so he has to settle down everybody, all the new players on the floor. But, you know, they're 3-0 right now in the league, so Henrikin's back to where they use it, our winning ball game. All right, it's high school hoops. We're glad that you're with us tonight. North Kingstown visiting Bishop Henrikin. We'll have the tip-off to tonight's Division I game right after this. Back to Bishop Henrikin as we take a look at the starting lineups tonight for North Kingstown. Sophomore point guard starting tonight, Jake Perry, in place of the injured Landon Jordan Bonington, who we may see here in the game a little bit later. As for the Henrikin Hawks, James Calderell is the guy who makes it go, one of the best three point shooters in the state. He is their team leader. You see the uh, bench there as we take a look at the head coach, Jamal Gomes, the Henrikin Hawks, in his 24th year. and we're ready to tip this one off. Kyle Boddington is in his third year as the NK head coach. And we're ready to tip this one off. And Henrikin controls the tip, and we are underway for this high school hoops telecast. William Messina, Reyes, Abbas Op is Calderella. First shot of the game, courtesy of Jacob Reyes, is in and out, but it's Henrikin now retaining the ball, and we're on another play here. 
A little man to man now too by North Kingston. They like to play zone. Take like it in a little man. Three pointer for Dylan Lynch. Gets Hendrickson on the scoreboard to start things off here tonight. Bill Lynch, his brother, is now playing at University of Pittsburgh in football, so he's down there picking up where he left off. His father left, I mean, his older brother left off playing basketball. North Kingstown breaking the press now on offense and underneath. We've got a foul called as Fahey has fouled going up for the layup. Looks like he's on Dylan Lynch there, might be. Dylan Number Lynch, two. first foul of the game. Leahy's a big kid. He's the biggest kid on the floor for, for either team for North Kingstown. Six foot seven. Six foot seven. Yeah, nice stroke, too. Watch them warming up. Yeah, maybe right there. Knocked down the free throw. But you know, this Henrikin team, they have a young point guard, a sophomore. There's mostly juniors and seniors out here on the floor for both teams, but the senior, the young point guard, has to handle run the team. Little full court pressure by North Kingstown. The breakout now for Henrikin and the Little layup down the other end. That is Rashawn Belain. I like that bounce pass too in traffic. You don't see a lot of bounce passes anymore, but they're tough ones to defend. Back comes NK. Mike DiOrsi. Off to Jake Perry. You can see the defense for Henrik, and they like to get out and get after it. They're overplaying the passing lanes, challenging the ball, trying to speed the pace up on North Kingstown. Traveling violation against Jake Perry, who fell. Good D there by Dylan Lynch. He got up there on him. Played some solid defense. There's a good fast break. Nice bounce pass right there to finish off the layup. But you notice Hendrickson had four guys filling the lane right there to get some look, good looks. Have our first substitution, Landon Jordan Boddington, junior point guard who was hurt in practice a while back with a knee bone bruise. Checking in. His dad, the head coach, wants to see how he can handle game conditions. There's a shot from up top, no good. Well, a little 2 3 zone, too, by North Kingston. That's going to free up some open three pointers for Hendrickson, so North Kingston's got to get out on the shooters. And the little layup, no good by Fahey. Loose ball gathered in by Hendrickson, and here comes Jacob Reyes. And nice shot. he brings that up and in. The Reyes is known as their defensive stopper, too, but you notice Hendrickson, when they get the rebound, Frank, they're going down the floor. They're trying to beat the defense down. Here comes Diorsi. Diorsi with a layup and nice. in. Good move there by Diorsi. That's the way you beat a press. You got to attack at the score. You don't want to back it out and have to play against the defense in a half court set. You take it up over the top. A lot of fast pace to get this game underway here in the first quarter. Another nice pass. And another layup for NK. It's Mike Diorsi. Well, B Boddington, who just subbed in, he's the point guard normally, but he's been hurt. Had his head up nicely on that. And nice pass on the fast break. Get two layups. Down nice. low, nice pass. Jacob Reyes with the basket. Good pass right there by Calder Calderella as he's on the foul line there against the zone. You want to get it into middle, Frank, and then throw it underneath. Here comes Jake Perry. Jake Perry loses the ball, and back comes Hendrickson. The Hawks' Jacob Reyes lays it in. Well, turnover in the backcourt. Perry turned that one over right there. He's a sophomore as well. And, and Timeout called by NK, and we'll take a timeout too. Be right back. All right, welcome back to Bishop Hendrickson High School in Warwick, Rhode Island. 
11 5 the defending state champs leading North Kingstown a little full court pressure and the ball taken over by Dylan Lynch who lays it in so Bill Lynch is a presence out there on the defensive end very long and active in the passing lanes back comes to your C NK working the ball around Jordan Bonington now and the layup nice. is up and in Nope, no good they're going to call an offensive foul. Well, they don't have that little uh, circle in there they have in college basketball, but you know that was a good setup right there. Though he took the offensive foul, I don't know if he was outside the circle, but there isn't one in high school ball, so he gets the call. You know, in college basketball now, Frank, they're calling blocks all the time to discourage guys from stepping in underneath the basket. Nice pass there by Lynch. Lynch is a factor out here. He makes a nice pass right there. Uh oh. Little uh, pushing and altercation shoving there. after there, but Lynch was fired up. He made the nice pass right there. His teammate missed the shot, but he went and got the rebound and took it up. Gets the score, gets the foul shot. Three point play the old fashioned way. Dylan Lynch making a, a statement out here early in the ballgame. You know, he comes from a big family, Dylan Lynch. There's four boys in that house. I'm sure they've had some real <laughs> riots in the backyard playing basketball. I bet. Lynch now looking to complete the three point play. And they're right back into the press right here. Full court, man to man denial press they want to do. Oh, boy. An offensive foul called on NK. That's a tough call right there. Trent Sterner. Dylan Lynch looks like he had good position, but I don't know if he's there in time, but Trent Sterner picks up the offensive foul with a little push off. Back come the Hawks. Leading here early 16 to 5. That's Reyes. Nice little jump shot by Jacob Reyes. You know, he's the state high jump champion, too, and he can really shoot the ball, and he's the best defensive player. Another turnover for NK. Here comes Messina. A little nice pass goes off to Reyes. Another basket, 25. The Hawks leading it here. Yeah, the Hawks are just too fast right now for this North Kingstown team. It was, that, it was just 7-5 here, Frank. All of a sudden, it's 20-5. Throw it away, and here's Lynch. The two-three zone here by North Kingston. They're gonna try to somehow slow down this Hendrickson team. But Hendrick is a good outside shooting team. They get that three-point look, they'll knock it down. 15 on the shot clock. Shot no good by Valaine. And another basket up and in. Looks like that Reyes. Was Jacob Reyes. Good play by Reyes right there. Stolen there. In the and corner called a run for a three. Yeah, Hendrick is a. Now Teamstown might get a timeout right here. <laughs> Let's slow this thing down. It's just getting after it. Nice pass. And Trent Sterner can't get it to go. Quickly come the Hawks right back the other end. The lane travel. travels. This Hendrick in pressure is really bothering North Kingston. They're having a tough time getting the ball over half court. Looks like North Kingston now is going to. Hendrick is going to go to a 1 2 2 3 quarter court press. And they fall back man to man. From way outside, no good. That shot launched by Jack Renza. Ball out of bounds. Be the Hawks ball here. Yeah. Two I mean, minutes to go, first quarter. Henrikens coming out of the gate here really strong. Frank, I mean, they're getting up and down the floor quickly. Their defense is solid. They're making good decisions, making open shots. Not a lot North Kingstown can do so far. They are almost virtually unbeatable here. They got a 14 game home unbeaten streak here. At Pepin Gymnasium. NK with a rebound. And down comes Jake Perry. 
Off to Jordan Boddington. Trying to find some room. Good defense by Henrik and I mean they're trying to switch the screens outside. Inside and a foul called on the play. Good patience by North Kingstown there Frank. You know they. Henrikens defense has been so solid they've been playing over playing the passing lanes but they got the ball movement that time they got the ball inside to the biggest guy on the floor. Leahy at six seven so get him down there and get him on the fire line is a pretty good foul shooter. Of course you say that and he misses the foul shot. <laughs> Will Carey checks in for the Hawks. James Calderola takes a little rest. You know, Jamal Gomes has been coaching at Henrikin for 24 years. There's a missed free throw there, but he's the guy that, you know, he demands excellence on the defensive end. And it all starts with defense, and they take off on the offense. Still in the zone here now by North Kingstown. Long shot, no good by Reyes. NK picks up the loose ball, way down the other end, and James Masterson can't save it. Oh, the steal. Lazy Jake pass Perry right there. Down the other end. And looks like Henrik and kicked it out of bounds. It'll be NK's ball as we are inside of a minute to go here in the first quarter. Tell you what, there was a steal at midcourt, and three Henrik players got back on defense to knock that ball out of bounds. Jeremy Red checks in for the Hawks. First time tonight. Dylan Lynch takes a seat. Up Kingston needs to get some offense going here. Get a good look. They like to run a high post offense, but this defense here, there's nothing in the middle open for North Kingstown. Rebound by NK. Down low and it goes out of bounds. So you know what's happening too, Frank. The, the defense of Henrikin is speeding up North Kingston. They, they like to slow it down and be a little bit more deliberate, but the defense on Henrikin is just overplaying everything and, and forcing North Kingstown to rush things and they're turning the ball over. Henrikin's going to take the last shot of the quarter here with 12 on the game clock. Like the, shot like shot this, clock is off. Like to get it down. Now you got a good luck now. It's six seconds. There you go, right in the middle. In and out it goes for Michael D'Ambra. Down the other end, and they can't get it to the basket in time. So that will end quarter number one, 25 to 5. Henrikin leading North Kingstown. We'll be back right after this. And we'd like to let you know that you can also enjoy these broadcasts on our Facebook Live page presented by Trattoria Appia Restaurant. Indulge in the familiar, experience the extraordinary. Welcome back to Bishop Henrikin. One quarter in the books, 25 5. The defending state champion Hawks are leading North Kingstown. Frank Carpano along with Joe Hassett. Glad that you're with us here today for game number one of our high school hoops schedule of high school basketball telecast. We're back again on Friday. We'll be in Providence that night for Central versus Classical. We'll talk about crosstown rivals. This is actually yeah. across the street. Yeah, buildings connect each other. That's always been a good ball game. Yeah. 
You know, this game was 7 5 at one point, Frank. Now it's 25 to 5, Hendrickson. Long shot from outside, no good, but the rebound by Trent Sterner. Sterner turns, shoots, can't miss it, and the rebound there by Messina. Quickly down the other end. Nice little layup and in Michael D'Ambra. Yeah, that's impressive. These guys get up and down the floor, the heads up, and the guys are running the lane. But Kingston has to do a better job of getting back on defense, giving up a lot of layups. From way outside, there's Boddington. the three-pointer for Jordan Boddington. He's hobbling back a little bit. Look at he just jogged back and they get a layup over the top. You got to get back on defense. Boddington hit the three, he didn't get back and threw the ball right over his head for an easy layup. So we mentioned that he had that knee bone bruise hurt in practice getting his first game action in a while here. He's a good player. He just needs to get some shots. It's tough to get shots off. We're going to do since Hendrick in defense. A miss there by Diorsi. Ball Diorsi is a scrappy little play. He's, he's a good three point shooter. But again keep saying this but. Henry is so tough on the ball. There's not a lot of good looks for this North Kingstown team to get it at the basket. Henry getting what they want right now. They're being patient against the zone. They can take an open three. It's a two three zone and North Kingstown has stayed in exclusively. From the corner shot no good by Calderella. Here comes N.K. Fahey, turn around, no good. Well, that was a good move there by Fahey, just didn't make the shot. You got to get him the ball a little bit more, maybe in the middle there, but his size. And in the corner, the shots by DeAmber is no good. And here comes Jordan Bonington leading the offense for NK. Stops, pops, no good. Here comes Hendrick on the fast break. I mean, it's like two oh. seconds and they get a layup. That's Michael D'Amber getting the basket. 31 to 8 now. Well, one thing North Kingston has to do a better job of getting back on defense. The shot goes up and they're all jogging back. Hendrickson's just beating them down the floor, which that, that shouldn't happen. And North Kingstown will keep the ball here as Dylan Lynch checks back in for the Hawks. Dale Lynch had a good start to the ball game. He was active out there making some steals on the defensive end and turning them into scores. It's a nice unit this uh, Henrik and team has. They got a lot of weapons out there. Nice good play pass there. Underneath there, Nate Massey with the basket. Good play by Dorsey on the penetration right there, dump off pass. In the middle, Shane Belaine can't get it to go. Back comes NK trying to. Match the speed of this Hendrick and Hawks team. Good move, and Dorsey. What you got to do? Get that rebound and push it up the floor. You don't have to set up against the defense. Get a good look. Good, two good plays by Dorsey there for North Kingstown. Now they need to get some stops, North Kingstown. Down 31 to 12 in this one. You got to play some defense here. Hendrickson's getting too many easy looks. Now man to man, first time for North Kingstown. There you go. Little steal, some good defense there by Perry, but the ball retained by Henrikin. The shot up, no good. Rebound, D'Ambra. The Henrikin ball here. I think the, the change of defense by Coach Boddington is a good idea for North Kingstown because Henrikin's really comfortable against that zone. But a lot of offensive rebounds, though, Joe, uh, Frank, because of the shot going up there. Henrikin's getting on the glass and getting second and third shot opportunities when they do miss. There's a shot that's no There's good no by Reyes. Rebound. A rebound underneath, and that was Will Carey. NK right down the other end. Back out top. Landon Jordan Boddington. Correcting the offense, and that ball picked up. Too lazy with that one. Good shot play there by blocked. Leahy. Nice block. Good All job the by Boddington. Here's Diorsi. And he gets it to go. 
Good pass by Boddington, right over the top of everybody. Boddington's playing on one leg out there. He just can't get back, but he needs to sees the court very well. Long three-pointer. There's that guy, Lynch, again. Oh. Nice shot there by Dylan Lynch. I mean, he is having a terrific ball game. Dorsey, right off the glass. And Dorsey's having a good ball game. He scored the last, he scored seven of the last nine points for this North Kingstown team. Good job by Dorsey. North Kingstown settled a little, little bit offensively, but they're going to get it some stops. You can't trade baskets at this point. Shot, three-point basket there for Will Carey. Shot and timeouts. We'll take one, two. The score is 39 17. Henrikin leading NK. Landmark Medical's High School Hoops. Closed captioning sponsored by Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses. The brand you trust since 1928. Offering Nairobi's same-day mattress and upholstery eye delivery seven days a week. Hey, welcome back to Bishop Henrikin. We invite you to stay tuned for the Worth of Rhode Island Halftime Report. We'll meet our scholar athlete, have a special interview with the Bishop Henrikin principal, some first half highlights. It's all coming up during the Worth of Rhode Island Halftime Report. You know, Henrikin's been very impressive in this ball game, John. They have 39 points with three minutes to go here in Shoot. the first half. I mean, they're shooting the ball very well. Playing great defense. I mean, they're, they're making North Kingstown work for everything. North Kingstown showing a little flash here. Last couple of minutes here with Boddington running the show out there, getting the open man. All right. The skipper's now trying to get some more points on the board here, trailing. There's launching from three point land, and Nate Massey can't get it to go, but NK gets the rebound. Boddington. In the middle to Fahey. Boddington launches. No good. But rebound by NK. The Skippers still battling here on offense. Good pass. Very nice down low to Nate Massey who Good. converts. Nice job by North Kingstown right there. Boddington throwing a good pace. He's a very good pass of Boddington. But nice job by North Kingstown getting on the offensive glass. That's what Henrikin's been doing to them. They had three opportunities that time on the missed shots. Turnover by Henrikin. Loose ball. Oh. Oh, man. He scratched his face up pretty good there. That was uh, Calderella. Ooh. He hit the deck. I mean, he's probably. Got some blood on his yeah, face. He's got a lot of blood on his face. And he'll come out of the game. He's going to have to go get patched up. He walked right into the locker room there, but. His face hit the floor pretty. Oh wow, that was a tough hit he took right there. You know, in concussion protocol on that play. Hey, these guys are playing hard. I mean, Hemrickin's up 20 and they're diving on the floor, going for fumbles. Calderell is the most experienced guy in this Hemrickin team too. Drive to the basket up nice. and in. Mike Diorsi. Mike Diorsi's having a nice game between him and Boddington. That's a pretty good backcourt right there for North King Sun that they can build on. Yeah. 
You know, now they're back to zone again, North Kingston. They switch from man back into the zone again. Into the middle, they break the nice. zone. Nice little layup there by Luke Pignataro. Good execution by Henrik, and they're not settling for the outside shot right now. They know if they get the ball in the middle, they get the long on the baseline and get a layup out of it. Tell you what, I'm impressed with Hendrick. I mean, they go for every loose ball. They're diving on everything. That was um, Luke Pagaro right there off the bench. And he was airborne going after that loose ball. I guess if you don't play that way, Coach Jamal Gomes is not going to let you play at all. He goes pretty deep on the lineup, though. We've seen quite a few substitutions here as uh, he's, he's Kyle Boddington is having a little discussion. Friendly discussion with one of the officials. Officials tonight, Chris Dandro and Chris Nashinsky. Hendrickson still in the man to man, playing that tough D on the ball. Back out top, two seconds, one second on the shot clock. And that'll be a shot clock violation. The Henrikin ball here. Well, Boddington's a good passer, and he's looking to pass first. But that one there, when they said they were going two seconds, he needs to shoot that one right away from the top of the key. Go for a three pointer. You still have North Kingstown in the extended 2 3 zone right here, but Henrikin doing a good job of getting the ball into the middle and then go baseline. It's 15 on the shot clock. Henry can take the air out of the ball a little bit here. And they'll look to go. Now you go man to man by North Kingstown. They switch from zone to man to man. Delane with the baskets. Great execution. Henry can doing a good job of spreading the floor, running the clock down, and then get a layup at the end of it. Hold for one shot here. Clock down to 12. Now 10 seconds to go. Got to run the play. Got to go now. You like to go under 10 is when you like to look for it. Oh my goodness, Seth Tarbridge land. Oh, <laughs> Dorsey, Mike Dorsey. That's the way to end the half. But it's Henrikin leading it 43 to 24. Well, we invite you to uh, stick around later in the fourth quarter as we'll feature the Martell Plumbing and Heating Play of the Game, Rhode Island's most trusted plumbing, heating, and cooling company for over 97 years. And we will also, at the conclusion of tonight's game, be showcasing the Landmark Medical Center player of the game, Landmark Medical Center, world-class care close to home. All right, coming up, the Ortho Rhode Island Halftime Report. We'll be right back. It's time for the Ortho Rhode Island Halftime Report, sponsored by Ortho Rhode Island, caring for your every move. 
Hi everyone, Sports Team 10's Frank Carpano here as we continue to shine a light on local high school athletes. NBC 10 is proud to sponsor Landmark Medical's High School Hoop Scholar Athletes of the Week. This week's scholar athletes are... Up first is Crane Griffin of Bishop Hendrickson. Crane plays hockey and baseball for the Hawks and holds a 5.38 GPA. Crane is one of the state's top baseball players and has signed a letter of intent at Louisville. Next is Nate Massey of North Kingstown. Nate is a member of the NK basketball team and touts a 4.02 GPA. He's captain of the Hoops team, a four-year honor roll student, and an executive board member of Best Buddies. Congratulations, Crane and Nate, on all your accomplishments inside and outside the classroom. Good luck the rest of the school year. It's time for the Ortho Rhode Island Halftime Report. Sponsored by Ortho Rhode Island. Caring for your every move. And welcome back, Warwick, Rhode Island. We are at halftime of our high school hoops telecast. Bishop Hendrickson and North Kingstown High School. And very happy to be joined once again by Mark DeCicio, the principal here at Bishop Hendrickson High School in year number six. Year number six. And there's always something exciting going on at Bishop Hendrickson High School. Tell me about some of the special things you have going on. A lot going on at Hendrickson. It's a great time to be a Hawk. We're doing a lot of enhancements to our facilities, renovating locker rooms, paint, LED lights. Very exciting time to be a hawk here and the different types of programs that you have going on here I would imagine it depends on you know what kids are looking for what sort of new things uh, can we look forward to either now or in the future here absolutely we have a stellar leadership Academy where students are able to develop the skills to become a great good leader also we have a DECA program that has to do with the stock market finance and business the kids love that program as well I would imagine that those programs have changed so much over the over the years you know with the way that things have grown you know around the world absolutely they're they're leading the charge that's what we do here at Hendrick and we lead well speaking of leading the charge I was thinking today about all of the student athletes who have come on through here and have gone on to great things Joe Mazzullo who's the head coach of the Boston Celtics is a former Hawk uh, Rocco Baldelli the manager of the Minnesota Twins you know there's there's baseball players there's hockey players there's basketball and professional football players uh, it really is quite a roster we are so happy of the accomplishments that these gentlemen have made but more importantly we're very very proud of them and the young men and men that they have become and what con contributions they have made to their communities. It really is quite a standard that you have here. It seems like almost every year in almost every sport we're talking about Bishop Hendrickson as one of the teams that's making it to almost the state championship if not winning state championships. There's no secret to our success, Frank. It's about relationships and the brotherhood, the relationships they have with their peers and their coaches. All right. Mark DeSistio, thank you very much for having us. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. Nice to speak with you. All right. Once again, we are at half Halftime, North Kingstown versus Bishop Hendrickson. We'll have more of our halftime report coming up right after this.
And welcome back to Bishop Hendrick in High School here in Warwick as the Hawks, the defending state champs, lead North Kingstown 43-24. Frank Carpano along with Joe Hassett. And look at uh, some of our first half highlights here. And it was a fast first half, Joe. It certainly was. Boddington right there, good passer, but Hendrick's defense was terrific. As you have Dylan Lynch there, he dominated that first five minutes of the game. But Kingstown came back. Dorsey was terrific for North Kingstown. I mean, he was able to score the ball, which was tough to do for North Kingstown when you look at what they did offensively. But Reyes, who gives them the best defensive player out there, number five, and he's a scorer inside. Good they attacked that zone perfectly. There you see some of the first half stats. Nine turnovers for North Kingstown. Most of those resulting in Bishop Henrik in baskets. But the score 43 to 24. Bishop Henrikin leading NK. Third quarter coming your way right after this. Welcome back to Pepin Gymnasium on the Bishop Hendrickson campus as we're ready to get underway with the third quarter of tonight's play. And the Hawks put the ball in bounds. They lead it 43 24. Frank Carpano, Joe Hassett here for the call of this high school hoops telecast here. How about Hendrickson shot 68% in the first half? Wow. <laughs> How many of those on fast break? I would say more than 50%. There's yeah. not a lot of set offensive plays that they've been scoring on here. They get the ball up the floor quickly. They, they don't want to take any time. A lot of transition baskets. There's no shot clock's a problem with this team. Good defense and count the basket for Dylan, Dylan Lynch. Lynch. Dylan Lynch has been a monster out there. That was a good move right there. Talk about the shot clock. Shot clock was under 10 for the first time in a while for Hendrickson, and he went baseline, pulled up, took the jump shot, and got fouled across the wrist. At the Dr. Eric George and Associates free throw line looking to make this a three point play is Dylan Lynch. You know you watch this Henrik and team play Frank I mean now they're in a one three one three quarter court trap but you watch them play I mean they you know that's such a great tradition and they've won four state championships in a row these guys here are all new none of them started last year they lost all five starters. They want to they want to continue the tradition there. They're showing it out there the way they play. They play very very hard. In the middle intercepted by Trent Sterner down the other way comes Jordan Boddington. Looks over in the corner out top. That's Reyes there. That's Reyes rather. Yep. But you look at. Um, it's going to be NK ball here. Well, Lynch is. Uh, Looking to be the player of the game in this one. He's all over the place. He's getting rebounds. He's making shots. He plays the top of that 1-3-1 one, one trap, too. Messina, number 10. He's their starting point guard as a sophomore. Does a good job of running the team. And a turnover. Traveling. Traveling yeah. violation there by Rashawn Villane. Well, he saw his teammate getting out, Reyes. Reyes was way ahead of the pack. He just couldn't get the ball out fast enough to him and shoveled his feet and picked up the travel. Number 
21. James Masterson checks in for NK. Skippers will put this ball in bounds. Mike Diorsi looking off to Fahey. Diorsi, the shots. No good. Back come the Hawks. Well, he hasn't missed many shots in this game, and that one there was good look, just airballed it. And Kano back to man to man. Get out of the zone. So Henry is gonna back it out, run a play against the man to man defense. Nice move there. That was Billy Messina number 10. His father played here. He's in the Hall of Fame of here for baseball. At Henrikin. And Messina plays three sports here, number 10. He's a, only a sophomore. He's the youngest guy on the floor for Henrikin. And he plays the toughest position, that point guard position. Little layup, and Trent Sterner can't get it to go, but he'll have a pair of free throws here. It's the foul called on James Calderella. How about Calderella? He went out of here with a. His face was all fired up for blood, but he's got a big band-aid along his cheek right now, and he's back at it, just like a hockey player. Again, Henrikin wants to keep that pace fast, Frank. They want to get up and down the floor and rush their opponent into quick shots. And, and that's what NK's trying to settle into that, but that big lead, the 25 to five lead that Henrikin had, it's been basically even since that big run they had. And no mercy, they full court pressure most of the time, right from the almost the get go in tonight's game. Nice pass called around there. In the middle, and Lynch can't get it to go. Back on the skippers now. Landon Jordan Boddington. Diorsi off in the corner now. A little Cross zone court. here by, by Henry can match up zone. They haven't played much of that, but. Disguise it as man to man. And the rebound there by Reyes. A couple of air balls so far here by the North Kingstown team. Rushan Belain with the baskets. Yeah. All state football player plays defensive end on the yeah, big Hawks kids. football team. 6 2. Oh, a little step move. Can't get it to go. Diorsi. Is that Diorsi guy again? I mean, he's been very efficient out there offensively. It's tough to get shots against this Hendrickson defense. The way you get good ones is you have to get the rebound on the other end and push it down the floor and try to beat the defense down. But North Kingstown, they like to run, but they want to do it in spots. They'd rather come down and play a half-court offense. Oh, Diorsi. Can't get the first of two to go on the Dr. Eric George and Associates free throw line. It's the roll that time. You know, North Kingston have to come out here and just forget about the score and just try to get three or four stops in a row if that's possible. Here's that guy Lynch again on the rebound. Quick follow up shot by Lynch doesn't go either. Quickly down the floor comes North Kingston and Reyes picks up the foul reaching in from behind. You know, when you're behind like that, you like to tip it forward and the official won't call the foul, but when you slap down, they always call the foul because they feel like they have to hit your wrist going down. But if you come from behind and tip it forward, you hit the ball first. NK inbounding from under the baskets. Out top, working it around. Dawson. Stop, pop, and can't get it to go. Ooh. Good play by Dawson right in front of us on the steal and keep that thing alive and go on the fast break. Launching nice. from outside, Mike Diorsi with a three pointer. That was sweet. He faked out two Hendrickson players, but nobody gets back on defense, and there goes Messina down the lane for a layup. That's happened much too often for North Kingstown. I mean, they make a good offensive play at one end, and nobody gets back on defense. Dorsey's feeling it now. He <laughs> he's trying to beat his man by himself. He needs to get some help out there on, from his teammates to make a shot. Trent Sterner has it picked out of bounds. Love Dylan Lynch. He almost had the steal there. Dylan, not only offensive player, but he's very good defensively and he gets on the backboards as well.
Looks like uh, a little matchup zone again by Hendrickson. Tough shot there by. Loose ball Gossett. picked up from outside. Masterson lets it go as the shot clock expires. And we'll take uh, with 3.46 to go here in the third quarter. 50 30 Hendrickson leaving, leading North Kingstown. We're back right after this. Landmark Medical's High School Hoops. Closed captioning sponsored by Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses. The brand you trust since 1928. Offering Nairobi's same-day mattress and upholstery eye delivery seven days a week. And tonight's delicious pregame meal was delivered to us by Medici Italian Kitchen in East Providence. A unique wood-fired kitchen with delicious entrees, pizza, seafood, and more. Just a signal of how good it was, Joe. By the time I got here, it was gone. I was just going to say, yeah. where is it? Uh, it's gone. You know, you know yeah. uh, I watched Barkley get food on TV, <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's just chowing down. He's got it all over his face, and we didn't get anything. Uh -oh. it, was, it was so good. <laughs> and the crew just gobbled it up. Vinny Mancuso just ran over here and said, the high-low offense that Henrik and his run is the, the offense that my father, Joe Hassett Sr., used at OLP. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Well, as uh, you know, others don't, Back in the day, we used to do high school basketball games on NBC 10, and my first color commentator was Joe Hassett Sr., so oh, yeah. it was only right that, uh, <laughs> that you joined me. And I was ready to use that card if you had said no to me. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, he taught me a lot about the game, I'll tell you that. You know, he was a lot of fun to work with. Well, this NK team, I mean, it was 25 to 5. Frank, and it's been even since that point. They mm. just haven't been able to. Trent Sterner just to couldn't get, get it at that two point, that 20 point level. Out top. Nice Colorado, pass. And that is right to Rushan Bullane. Got a relevant. Nice bounce pass in the lane. I love bounce passes in traffic like that. They're so tough to defend. From outside, no good. Loose ball scooped up by NK. No good. And the rebound up and in. North Kingstown. We don't even have that guy. What's his name? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Number one. I don't Number have him one. on my list. He comes in and cleans it up right there. Dawsey stole it. Dawsey's been all over the place for NK in this ball game. He's been their most valuable player for sure. I think we're going to have to send Pete, our statistician, over to the NK bench. Find Mystery out who he is. Mystery man, number one on. Number one. If you can go find out. <laughs> Thank you. What would we do without you? Pete Connell, our stack yeah. guy. You got a nice little stroke there, too. Knocks the free throw down. Probably probably plays both ways on JV. And he threw him in this game. Give him a little experience. Stop and pop. No good for Lynch. And K down the other end. And the layup there for Dorsey. Mike DiOrsi. And K giving Hendrick a little bit of home medicine that time, beating him down the floor on a missed shot. Hendrick has got to get back on defense. So you got to remember this Hendrick team is a young team. And no starters back from last year. They came out of the gate strong, but NK now trying to 
get a little bit of a run here. Good job on the rebound. He had another offensive rebound. I like to see the offensive rebounds for Henrikin in this one. They must have double digits in offensive rebounds. NK with some swarming defense here now. Trying to get back in this game. Well, they're playing better when they play man to man. They played the zone. That's where Henrikin wore them out. Nice move by Messina there. You know, Messina's just a sophomore. And, you know, he has to play the point guard position. Now, when you have a Henrikin team that won four straight state championships and have five seniors that graduated you know he didn't get to play at all last year you know he comes in as a sophomore now and he's got to run the team and he's got the ability he's a three sport athlete here at Henrik and he played football and, ba and uh, baseball left hander has knocked that, that free throw down with a good stroke but you know the more minutes he plays the better Henrik will get because when you're the point guard you're like the quarterback in football you have to that's a tough position to play and he's an important part of this team converts both of his free throws Jeremy Red checking in for Henriken Finn Moynihan junior shooting guard checks in for NK and Will Carey's checking in right now as the backup point guard he's a he's a sophomore as well so you two point guards are sophomores for Henriken shoot that a long shot that's Max Doreski can't Max, get it to go. Max Doreski, the infamous number one. Oh, nice, move, a little nice reverse layup there by James Calderella. And Calderella, he got some minutes last year on that championship team. He's the most experienced guy on this Henrikan team. Felt like his team needed a hoop. He went and got it for him. Final minute of the third. From outside, long range, no good for Trent Sterner. You know, it's funny, those oh. shots used to be bad shots in the old days. Now, they, you, the further you go out, nobody cares. <laughs> well, that's how you made your uh, your living for a while, right? From yeah. that three-point three, three point line. Only got two points, though, back in the day here. But NBA was... Oh, yeah, that was nice. Ooh. Dorsey coming out, getting after Lynch there, but Lynch makes a nice crossover move, gets to the basket. Calderella gets his own rebound, and then the ball goes out of bounds, and with 1.8 seconds to go, NK will try to get something here. They trail by 21 points. All right, so three quarters down, and I want to remind you to stay tuned. Conclusion of tonight's games will feature the Martell Plumbing and Heating Play of the Game, Rhode Island's most trusted plumbing, heating, and cooling company for over 97 years. We'll also have the Player of the Game, uh, Landmark Medical Center, Player of the Game, Landmark Medical, world class care close to home. And we'll be right back. And welcome back to Bishop Hendrickson High School. The Hawks leading this one with a quarter to go. 56-35 is our score. The Hawks trying to extend their home win streak to 15 games. They come in as the four-time straight state champion. In fact, they've won six in the last seven years. Yeah, this has been uh, Jamal Gomes. 
He's done a great job coaching at Henrikin for the last 24 years. These teams are always competitive, always have a chance to win the state championship. Little 1-3-1 one, one zone now by Henrikin. Trying to change things up. Dorsey, he loves that shot on the outside. Big rebound there by Will Carey. From outside, lining it up. And in for Michael D'Amber, just a freshman. And the lefty to boots. Well, got, some great, got some great upside too, Frank, talking to Coach Jamal Gomes. There's a basket for James Masterson. Pass inside there. That was a nice play there by Moynihan. From outside, no good. Loose ball. Henrikin. Another offensive rebound for Hendrickson. I mean, he's played everybody on the bench. He's got 11 guys dressed. Let me see. Yeah, 11 guys dressed. A little motion offense here. Calderella off in the corner. Here's the freshman again, and he hits again. Yeah, he's got good size, too. Freshman D'Ambry, 6'2", he's only a freshman, so he's probably going to sprout out to maybe 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, There's a steal by Lynch, and he lays it in. Lynch is really tough at the top of that pressure defense, the 1-3-1 one, one there, because he's long and he's very active. He's in the passing lane, deflecting passes. Off in the corner, Masterson gets it to go for three. Two, two in a row for Masterson from out there. But Love Kingstown showing a little life on the offensive end now, knocking down some shots. Still trailing by 24 here in the fourth quarter. See, nice ball movement, too, by Henrik in here, Frank. You know, they just thrown four passes right there. Now they can spread the floor a little bit, 16 on the shot clock. A little weave. Good defense by NK here, taking away any passing lanes. Throw it into the big fella right there. The lane can't get it to go. Battle Another. for the rebound. Michael yeah. D'Amber comes away with it. Another offensive rebound. D'Amber steps back. No good. Good job there by Masterson getting that rebound. That guy Dorsey again. Another deep three. Timeout by Coach Boddington. I'll tell you what, North Kingston has played pretty well after the initial shock of the of the run here by by uh, Henrikin up 25 to, t to 5. Well, it's been a very quick game here tonight. Both teams playing fast. A lot of transition baskets. How about the play of the game, Joe? What do you think? Oh, the play of the game here. This is a good play here by Calderello. Nice little reverse layup spin off there, but that's what Henrikin has done so well in this game. They push the ball down the floor. Calderell, a little reverse layup there against some traffic. He's their experienced guy, and he finished that one off nicely. But, you know, Henrikin has done that the whole ball game. The play of the game is, is, is ideal for them because that's the way they play the game. They push the ball down the floor, try to get easy transition hoops. That is our Martell Plumbing and Heating play of the game. Rhode Island's most trusted plumbing, heating, and cooling company for over 97 years. We take a peek inside of the North Kingstown huddle there. Kyle Boddington in his third year as the head coach. He was uh, actually a member of their Athletic Hall of Fame uh, at North Kingstown. Works for the uh, rec departments in NK. Yeah, he had a nice career at North Kingstown, and his son is a good player. Unfortunately, he's hurt. You know, he took a shot to the knee. I was talking to his dad, and on the outside of it, a bone bruise, and he really can't run as fast as he'd like to. And in this game, you better be sprinting with Henrik and running up and down the floor because you're, you're going to get beat down the other end. I think North Kingston, when he went man to man, Frank, the, the, the game became much better. You know, they were active on the offensive end and playing good D. Little spin move by the freshman. DeAmber can't get it to go. Quickly comes North Kingstown now. Out top. Good ball now. movement. Very good. Launching from outside. And unfortunately, Nate Massey can't get it to go. That was a great offensive set there by North Kingston. They threw five passes and they get a wide open three. Push the ball down the floor. You, you like the look. They keep doing that. That will get better. Calderella almost has it picked. You know, the Hendrickson taking the air out of the ball a little bit here, spreading it out. There's 10 on the shot clock now. 
We need to get moving here. Calderella's their veteran guy. He's going to get to the basket. Good move. Nice move. Gets it to go. That's what that's what leadership does out there. Calderella played last year and you know, five seniors left with Henrik and we mentioned a number of times and he saw the shot clock winding down. He went and got the shot. As you mentioned, he's the only player on this year's squad with extensive varsity experience. Nice basket there. Trent Sterner. Trent Sterner going with a power move right there. Nice move. Henrik is slowing it down a little bit here, trying to run a little offense, getting something out of it. Now they're being a little bit deliberate here, using some clock. With the nice clock little down. fake and move. Calderella. Good move right there. The middle was wide open for him. He just couldn't make that shot, but it was a good move. Again, I think Masterson that, launches. Can't get it to go. He's made a couple of three pointers out there. Hemigan's just slowing the ball down a little bit now. They're going to take a timeout, put some substitutions in the game. All right, and we're going to take a timeout as well. We'll be back right after this. On the final minutes of tonight's game, it's time to talk about our player of the game, the Landmark Medical Center player of the game. Joe, what do you think? I, I got to go with Dylan Lynch. I think Dylan Lynch has been terrific. When they, the Hawks got off to that big start, he makes that jumper right there. When they got off to a big start in the game, 25 to 5, he was getting all the steals and getting everything done on the fast break. I mean, he was a, a pain out there on the defensive end, but also offensively, he was terrific. He was rebounding the ball and making big shots. So when they had the big run, they, Got way up in the ball game. It was all about him. So Dylan Lynch had a solid ball game. The six foot three junior. All right, he's our Landmark Medical Center player of the game. Landmark Medical Center world class care close to home. In five seconds. Oh. Little travel oh, travel. By Reyes. Reyes the six foot two junior. He's the best defensive player. He's a state high jump champion too. Likes to shoot the three pointer but. You know, you look at Reyes, they got him down at 6'2". He doesn't look 6'2". He looks a little smaller than that, but he's the state high jump champion. Moynihan, no good. Rebound by N.K. Second shot, no good. Rebounded again. Diorsi this time, and he is blocked going up. And Diorsi tried to take that up in traffic. He probably should have thrown that back out to the three-point line. And he's slow to get back in the nice other end. Move. Nice move there by Jacob Reyes. Yeah, you know, he jumped center at the beginning of the game, and Jacob... I mean, he can do a lot of things out there. He can score for you, but you know, the best player on the opposition usually guards them. In and out, Diorsi can't get that one to fall. Quickly back down the other end, Renza gets two. Coach Boddington cannot be happy with that. I mean, you look, you, look, you miss a three-point shot, and nobody gets back on defense. You give up a layup. Dossie trying to do it all himself. He's made a lot of good shots in this ball game. Didn't make that one. Messina off in the corner. No good. And the rebound by Moynihan. It's fast and furious right now. <laughs> yeah. You know, high school ball, it's automatic now when you when you go to the basket there and you, you call offensive fouls, but you know, college ball, they're, they're changing it. I mean, they're, they're calling blocks like all the time now. That'll stop guys from stepping in. And picking up those cheap ones there. If you call a block every time, guys stop doing it. They actually try to go out there and play defense and maybe challenge the shot. 
You keep getting called for a foul. You won't you won't step in and take offensive fouls anymore. 2.18 to go here in this one. Bishop Henrikin commanding lead. And Henrikin takes a timeout here. Well, they were a little disorganized out there, and Coach Jamal Gomes was yelling. There was nobody in the backcourt to help get the ball, and North Kingstown was going to press. There was nobody to get it in, so he calls timeout. He's got some different combinations in there with the score 70 to 45. He's trying to use some new people. You know, we want to let you know that you can also enjoy these broadcasts on our Facebook Live page presented by Trattoria Appia Restaurant. Indulge in the familiar, experience the extraordinary. We thank them, thank all of our sponsors for their support that allows us to bring you these telecasts and streams. We've got five more games to go on our high school hoops schedule of games. The next one coming up Friday night will be in Providence. Joe and I will bring you the Central versus classical game. Always uh, uh, a good matchup between those two. That was a great rivalry when I was playing back at LaSalle, the Central game. Central was always winning state championships. We couldn't beat them. We lost in the finals twice to those guys. But this is great to get the games on TV as a high school player. It's awesome. All right, the interception on the inbound, Masterson. Off to Perry. No good. Rebound, NK. <laughs> Watch again. Did you see a little double dribble there? He double maybe. dribbled, and he's—I mean, it's like chaos out there right now. But Jake Perry gets the basket, and timeouts called by NK. So put the big guys in the uh, the big rival when you played uh, back in the day uh, was it was it still LaSalle and and Henrikin? Back then, that was the, the big rivalry? No, it wasn't. Hendrickson was actually Division Two back then. Really? Yeah, the big rivals was LaSalle, uh, Central, Hope High School, East Providence. I mean, those all had good teams. And Mount Pleasant, all you know, those games were, were really tough games. And Hendrickson, they were in A when I was a freshman. Then they dropped down a division uh, my whole whole career at LaSalle. But you know, they're back up in A now and then uh, doing a really good job of dominating. Yeah, they won the last four state championships. But that's the way it was. But Central always had really good teams. Yeah, they had, uh, we'll, we'll talk about them in the next game. But, I mean, Billy Perry, the little point guard out in front there. Uh, Ernie Isom. I mean, they were they were solid. His name Brother Brown. They had Lee Van Anderson who was an all-state first team two years in a row, unanimous choice. So, I mean, there were a lot of good good teams in those days from Central. And classical wasn't class A then either. They were class, uh, they were division two. So both coaches trying to get new guys in the game and get a little organized in this last two minutes of the ball game. See if they get some people to run the offense and get them some minutes. This is Beck Kegelman. Jack Renza off to Pignataro. 10 seconds on the shot clock. So you can tell there's no real true point guard out there right now. Henry can have a tough time getting organized. No good. Loose ball, and we got a foul called. Foul on Christian Butera on the rebound. Played on the varsity last year. Saw a little bit of time. Getting some time here tonight. Well, Dorsey checks out of the ball game. Jeremy Red. Guys get a little curtain call. The last one minute and 20 seconds. And we can still play in that little one, three, one, three quarter court trap. Interception there by Reyes, and he can't get it to go, but the rebound is up and in for Luke Pignataro. He took off a little bit too soon that time. He wanted to dunk it, but he short-armed it. I never had to worry about that, Frank. I don't worry about dunking. <laughs> Boom. Nice three-point basket by Finn Moyne. Did you ever get that close to the basket? I mean, you're shooting from way outside, right? Yeah, I couldn't jump either. But... These guys can get up there. Well, you got the state high jump champion and Reyes right there, so he thought he could dunk that one home. <laughs> Little elbow in the face there. See, as the coach, you want them to keep moving the ball here no matter what's going on. You don't want to get garbage time. There's a good move. Pignataro again. First year on the varsity, played JV last year. 
The last shot situation there, 74 to 50. But you know, give NK some credit. They were down big, down 20 at the first five minutes of the game and played basically even since that point. Shot blocked. All right, this should be it. Final seconds. Reyes holding the ball, and that'll be it. So Bishop Henrikin now 15 straight game home win streak here at Pepin Gymnasium as they come up with a 74-50 win over North Kingstown here tonight. We're back with some post-game reaction from the winning team right after this. My check, my check, my check. Come on up front here, Jamal. Guys, if you could just kind of get right behind coach. Yep, yep. Nice and tight. All right, welcome back here to Bishop Henrikin. The Hawks victorious here tonight. 15 straight home wins. The streak continues with their win tonight over North Kingstown. Head coach Jamal Gomes joins us now. And coach, uh, you guys uh, were in like fifth gear right from the very beginning of this game. Well, that was our goal going into the game was to push tempo, push speed. And our guys did an awesome job. Listen, we have tremendous respect for Coach Boddington and North, uh, North Kingstown Skippers and the way that they play and the style that they play. But our, our goal tonight was really to come out, play Bishop Henrik in basketball, get up and down the floor and run and see how it goes. And our guys did a good job of that tonight. And a lot of full court pressure and trapping right off the start of the game kind of threw NK off their game. That's it. You know, that's that's our style of play. We start on the defensive end. Our defense gets us into our offense and then usually good things happen from there. So we just got to keep it going. It's still early in the season, but we're getting better. We got a young group here. I call them young and inexperienced, but they're gaining experience every day, every day in practice and uh, very proud of this group of guys. Well, you had mentioned before the game how you lost a lot of guys to graduation last year, but the, the streak continues. The tradition of, of the winning culture here at Bishop Henrikin continues. Well, that's what we pride ourselves on. It's tradition, it's culture, it's doing things the right way, it's playing with discipline, teamwork, intensity, and defense. When we do those things, we tend to be successful. Whether we win or lose, we tend to be successful. And that's the message we send to our guys every single day. Well, I'm sure you've got bigger goals, but we'd like to present you with the uh, High School Hoops trophy for winning tonight's game. Guys, congratulations. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you Coach. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. And that will do it for game number one of High School Hoops. All of us would like to take a moment to thank our wonderful sponsor partners, Landmark Medical Center, Martell Plumbing and Heating, and Ortho Rhode Island, who through their contributions to the program, 
make these games possible for you to view at home. We'd also like to thank our other great sponsor supporters for their contributions to our 2024 High School Hoops telecasts. Dr. Eric George and Associates, Trattoria Appia Restaurant, Cardi's Furniture and Mattresses, and Medici Italian Kitchen. And we'd especially like to thank tonight's participating high schools and their administrators for their continued support. North Kingstown High School and our host, Bishop Henrikin High School. And we'd like to invite you to join us for our next exciting high school hoops matchup. That's this Friday, January 12th at 7 p.m. when Classical takes on the Central Knights. So for Joe Hassett, our statistician Pete Carnell, and our entire crew, I'm Frank Carpano. Thank you for watching. Have a good night, everybody.